you uh, are involved, uh, by and large, in a very strange business system, which divides your day into work and play. Work is something that everybody does, and you get paid to do it because nobody could care less about doing it. In other words, it is so abominable and boring that you can get paid for doing it. And the object of doing this is to make money. And the object of making money is to go home and enjoy the money that you've made. When, when you've got it, you see, you can buy pleasure. This is a complete fallacy. Or all the whole thing from beginning to end is a hoax. Money never can buy pleasure. A child grows into our culture. We condition the child in a way that sets the child a life problem which is insoluble. And as a result of this problem being insoluble, it is perpetually postponed to the future. So that one lives, one is educated to live in the future, and one is not ever educated to live today. And you are conditioned to be in desperate need of a future. So the final goal that this culture prepares for us is for retirement. When you will be a senior citizen and you will have the wealth and no energy. Now I'm not saying that, you know, the philosophy of carpe diem, let us drink today for tomorrow we die and not make any plans. What I am saying is that making plans for the future is of use only to people who are capable of living completely in the present. Because when you make plans for the future and they mature, you are, if you can't live in the present, you are not able to enjoy the future for which you have planned. Because you will have in you a kind of syndrome, a, uh, whereby happiness consists in promises. But everything is based on the idea, you see, that you will get it tomorrow and you can enjoy yourself today so long as tomorrow looks bright. But Confucius once said, a man who understands the Tao in the morning can die contentedly in the evening. That is to say, if you have ever lived one complete moment, you can, you can say, well, that was it. But if you never lived that complete moment, Death is always the guy who like comes into a bar at two o'clock in the morning and says, time gentlemen, please. And you say, oh, please, one more drink. Not yet. Because you haven't really had the feeling that you ever had it, that you ever got there. One day if our lives are written down If every day we live we read aloud The choices we would make, the risks we would or wouldn't take If our lives are written down I wonder if we'd lose our bound Would money lose its grip of slavery Somehow the poorest days I've known I was living blissfully Oh, so much You can't have your hold on me I know that I could quit my job And just follow the voice of God oh, He always knows where I need to go
see it coming Life is only but a flash You know you gotta live for something If you're gonna make it last I wonder if our lives were written down If every day we live Red loud What choices we would make What risks we would or wouldn't take If our lives were written down What kind of person would you be? Would you write a better we live always in expectation of a future, which of course never happens. Well, it's enough for me for the moment.